All right, in this one, I want to go over one of the coolest mod names ever, and that is the Monochromatic Maestro. Now, that is a mouthful, and this was honestly the most sought-after mod that I wanted to get once the season actually launched when they teased it in the TWAB. But this has a lot going on for it, but it simply just says, Dealing damage with elements' abilities grants increased damage to weapons of the same element for a short duration. Dealing damage with elements' weapons grants increased damage to abilities of the same element for a short duration. So like I said, that is a lot, but it's honestly relatively easy to understand. If you deal damage with a gun, you get more ability damage. And if you deal damage with an ability, you get more gun damage. Now, those abilities and gun damage types do have to match. So you have to have an arc weapon with an arc subclass or obviously any other subclass will work as well, but they do have to be matching. Fortunately, a lot of the guns in the game at this point have very good perks that play into the 3.0 counterparts, things like Volt Shot, Repulsor Brace, and Cadescent, so you're going to be running these in the first place. So, but that does bear the question of how much of a damage increase does this actually give? And on both ends, the ability damage and gun damage you're going to be receiving from this is 10%. It is on the lower end of buffs that we have in the game, but it does stack with everything from my testing. So things like Charger Light and Phantomite will actually go hand in hand with this and just give you an additional 10% extra damage. And you have to remember that it also does buff your ability damage as well, which is very nice. Now it does have a weird timer going on for it. Essentially, if you deal damage with the gun, that means you're gonna get five seconds of more ability damage. Now, at the same time, you can also do ability damage and it makes that gun damage last for five seconds. And the timer is weird. You have to let it go down to zero to reproc it, but it definitely does reproc and you can't do them in tandem. But just know you are going to be reprocking it and you can pretty much always have infinite uptime on this. But just to confirm this is a 10% damage increase, I do 4,768 damage, which is going to get increased to 5,245 damage once I have the mod proc. And then for ability damage wise, as you see, I do 8,675, and then that goes to 9,542. So on both ends, like I said, it is a 10% damage increase. Again, it's definitely not a lot, but it does seem to stack with everything in the game, which will just give you an added bonus. And since you only have to deal damage, this also will work very well in boss scenarios. Say if you're fighting orcs, you can just throw a grenade on orcs, and now you're going to have a 10% damage buff plus whatever else you have going on as well. Because again, you can just throw another grenade and you are good to go. So overall, I actually do think this is a relatively good mod. Just having that extra damage pretty much all the time if you're playing into your subclass correctly it is a nice benefit. However, it does cost six energy, which is kind of a letdown, but I definitely understand why, because you're just always going to have a damage bonus, kind of like the solo player one. And if you want to see a video about that one, I have made a video on that previously, so you can be sure to go check that out. But I hope this video helped you out and I hope you all enjoyed. If you want to see more, consider subscribing, drop a like, turn those notifications on. Also, if you like, join my Discord or follow me on any of my socials, all that will be linked in the description below. But just know watching this video is way more than enough and that every single bit of support from you all is truly appreciated thank you all so much for watching this one and have a great day peace